anything just to kind of help with your balance a little bit. You're going to stand up nice and tall. Tummy muscles are pulled in, pelvic floor pulled up. And you're going to stand with your feet in what we call Pilates V or first position. And we're going to stand and we're going to come up on the tiptoes, nice tight squeeze at the heels. I like to keep the squeeze at the heels. You don't have to, but I like to keep that squeeze at the heels to switch my butt on a little bit because I always want to work my bone just a little bit extra. Okay, but you don't have to keep those heels together. So we're going to come up on the toes and down. We're going to go for eight and down and seven and down and six and down and five, four. Keep breathing, but belly button's drawn in, pelvic floor drawn up. Two, and we're going to hold them up. So you're up on your tiptoes, readjust your feet if you need to. And we're going to plie down. So the knees travel out the direction the toes are pointing in. So my toes are pointing out, my knees are going to travel that direction. Stand tall, really squeeze up through your inner thighs and up into your pelvic floor. So we're going down, lift and squeeze, down, lift and squeeze. Inhale, inhale. And I'm blowing out, like I'm blowing out birthday candles. Not that many, because I'm only 21. Exhale, press and lengthen. Let's go for four. So your heels are still up off the floor, nice and high, like you're in the highest pair of stilettos that you've ever seen in your life. Okay, and one, and we're gonna go again from the top. So bring the heels down, and then up. Up and down, keep those heels nice and tightly squeezed. We're gonna go for eight, <coughs> seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hold your heels up and plie. Eight, seven, six, five, four. In three, we're gonna hold it down. In two, and we're gonna go down, we're gonna hold. So hold it here, and we're just gonna do a little pulse. Like you're on a horse, just a little teeny tiny pulse, really pulling those pelvic floor muscles together and up, belly button drawing in for four, three, two, one, press and lift, we're going from the top, heels down, heels up, heels down, heels up, we're going to go for six, five, four, should feel this in your hamstrings a little bit and up into your butt, one, we're going to hold it up here on the tiptoes and plie, down, and squeeze for eight, seven, six, five. Inhale down, exhale, press and lift. Four, three, two, and we're gonna do one more. We're gonna go down and hold, hold it here. Pulse, little pulses. Okay, I'm gonna turn sideways again so you can see what I'm gonna do next. So we're holding it here. The legs should be talking to you already. Yeah, they are. <laughs> okay, so we're holding it here, we're going to tuck the pelvis. So we stick the butt out, let your upper body come slightly forward, and then tuck the tailbone under and lengthen. So you're going to get this nice kind of rounding action in your lower back, but your legs are going to be on fire when you're doing it. Breathe. Very little weight. If you're so able to balance, balance without anything, but use the chair if you need to or a kitchen counter. We're breathing. Whew. Two more. Two. Whew. One. Stand tall from the top. Last round. Heels are down. Heels are up. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And hold them up and plie. Down and lift. For eight. Seven. Six, so your knees are traveling the direction of your toes. Five, four, three, two, down and hold and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna go for that tuck. So tuck and lengthen. Tuck and lengthen. Try and stay out of your upper back. So don't round your shoulders out as well. Tuck the tailbone. You check if I do that. A little bit. We did it a little bit. I wasn't going to say, but oh my god. Alright, three. Need to count. Two. Whew, one. Stand tall. Give those legs a little shake. Oh god. That is a little burner there. Whew. Okay, so for the next bit, then next little block, we're going to come into what we call second position, 
Or if you're more of a gym, more used to go to the gym, you might call this a goblet kind of goblet squat position. Yep. Yeah. So your toes are pointed out. Hmm? Sumo squat. Sumo squat position. Whatever you call it. This is toes are pointed out. Okay, so we're standing up nice and tall again, belly button's drawn in, pelvic floor is drawn up, particularly with this one. And especially if you're recently postnatal, pelvic floor is going to draw them up nice and high. Okay, so together and up. We're coming down into a goblet squat, or the second position squat is what we call it in our class. So we're inhaling down, exhale to press and lift. Inhale down, so your full weight is coming through your feet and make sure your knees are pushing outwards. Don't let your knees collapse. Sometimes the knees want to collapse inwards. Make sure you're pushing those legs out and those glutes, so your butt cheeks are switching on. Okay, let's go for four. Three. Two. One. We should have talked about this. Who's gonna, who's gonna catch up on who? <laughs> when we all are the yeah, but are you going to catch up with me if I get poop, or am I going to catch up with you if we're going like pistons? Oh, I don't know. I'll catch up with you. Yeah. Okay. I'm Four. Continuing what you're told. Three, two, one. Press and lift. We're going again. Down and lift. Down and lift. Use your chair. Use your kitchen counter to help with a little bit of balance if you want. If not, you could have some weights in your hands and be adding in some extra difficulty levels. See what's happening. <laughs> I'm going to a beat in my head, and Karen's going to a beat in her head. <laughs> okay, inhale down, exhale, press them, that's what I'm doing. Okay, let's go for four. Three, two, we're gonna go down, we're gonna hold, hold, hold. So make sure your feet are, the weight is distributing evenly through your feet, your knees are pushing out. Now we're gonna renovate one foot at a time. So one foot, down, other foot, down, one foot, down, other foot, down. Let's go for six, five, four. Feel those inner thighs start to really talk to you and your hamstrings as well. Quads are obviously going to be firing up. And press and lengthen from the top. Down and lift, down and lift, down and lift. Good, five. Four, three, two, down and hold, hold, pulse, little pulses. Talk to your pelvic floor while you're here. Is it together? Is it up? Is your core turned on? Is your back nice and straight or have you dropped forward? Watch out for all those things. We're going for four, three, two, one. We're going to releve one foot, other foot. Good. For six, five. Four. I know your muscles should be talking to you really loudly by now, and it's going to get a whole lot better. One. So you bring your two heels down. Take a hold of your chair. We're coming down to the floor, halfway up. Down to the floor, halfway up. So, down to the floor, halfway up. Down. We go for four. Three. Oh my two. God. One, press and lengthen. Oh. Give the legs a little shake. We're going one more round on those. That last one, if you've got really bogey knees, your knees will probably tell you no. That's fine. Don't do it. Just hold it in the pulse as low as you can. The knees. If your knees are saying no to that last one, listen to them, okay? Your muscles will be saying, ah! But that's okay. We don't mind that. Okay, so last round. Tummy nice and tight. Up nice and tall. Three, two, one. Down and lift. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, down, and we're gonna hold it down, hold, pulse, eight, and turn sideways and leave Karen that way. Four, three, we're gonna relevate, two, one. So one heel, then the other heel, one heel, then the other heel. For six, five, keep down nice and low, keep your back nice and straight, so make sure you're not dropping forward, nice and tall, one, heels down, butt to the floor, down, halfway up, eight, seven, six, five, four, oh, 
three, two, one. Press and lengthen. Oh my God, give those legs a good shake. That's a really handy one if you're a snowboarder. Uh huh. It is. We're all stuck in the country, Eleanor. We can't leave. No one's going yeah. snowboarding. Thank you. I forgot. Okay. All right. Give those legs a little shake. We're sticking with the legs. We're really getting those legs knackered out today. So for this next one, I'm going to use the box that's here. I don't think I'm actually sitting now. I can't see the thing. Okay. So I'm going to use the box, but Karen's not going to use the box. So you can do it with or without. It's totally, it's totally fine to have it. Or not have it. And again, if you have hand weights handy, add in some arms as well. Okay, I'm just not doing it today, but we will over the next week start adding in a little bit of more difficulty stuff to add in, take away, whatever you want. Okay, so standing tall, I'm gonna bring my left foot, my left toes are gonna to come onto the box. I try not to have them tucked under, I try and have them like my the top of my foot flat, but that's just me. Some people like to have the toes tucked, it's totally fine. Okay, so we're gonna stand nice and tall. Tummy's pulled in, pelvic floor pulled up. You need to just check your distance on this one. I need to hop forward a little bit. I'm still in the thing. Okay, so draw the belly button in, zip up the pelvic floor. We're inhaling down, exhale to lift. Inhale down, exhale to lift. Inhale down, exhale to lift. So this is really gonna challenge your balance on one side. We're gonna go for four. Inhale down, exhale to lift for three, two, and then we're gonna hold it down. So, hold it here. And I want you to put your weight into the forefoot of the right foot. So the foot that's on the floor, put your weight into the toes and bang your heel for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, I want you to put your weight now into the heel of that foot, just wiggle your toes. You won't be able to see my toes wiggling, but they are wiggling. Ooh. Make sure your balance is switched on. Four, three, two, and then we're gonna meet Bob. So Bob is my friend, we're just gonna Bob. Imagine like you're in the ocean and you're bobbing with the ebb and flow of the waves and your ass is on fire on your right side and your quads. Four. Ooh. Three, two, oh, press and lengthen. Oh, both legs go nuts doing that one. Woo. Okay, we gotta do the other side. Beans. <laughs> so, oh, I need to stop legs. <laughs> okay, so put your right foot, right toes on the box this time, whatever way it's comfortable to you. Find your distance. Okay, tummy muscles pulled in, pelvic floor pulled up. Now we're bending the knee. And then, so it's important as well for your knee that it's tracking over your foot. Again, don't let it roll in sideways. Use your chair if you need to for a little bit of extra balance. We go for four, three, two, and as you get to the top of these, you never snap the joint. Okay, let's go down and we're gonna hold. Put your weight into your forefoot, bang your heel. Eight, seven, oh, Bob, no hands. Six, hold on if you need to, four, Three, two, one, push your heel in, wiggle your toes. Eight, seven. Somebody be super zooming this then later to see if my eyes are wiggling my toes. I am. Two, whew, one, and then Bob. Ebb and flow. Eight, oh my god, seven, six, five, four, three, oh my god, two, one, press and lengthen. Oh my god. Give the legs a little shake. White burning kind of pain is what you are experiencing. That's fine. I'm gonna get my box out of the way. Okay. So, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna come down onto the floor next. We're gonna give the legs a little break. Now we're gonna work the core instead. Should be, your core should be switched on all the time. Now we're just gonna challenge it a little bit by doing some planks, um, some leg climbers, a few little push-ups, and we're gonna work the butt, and then we'll be done. Let's check the time. We're trying to keep these to about 30 minutes. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so. So, plank. You can do these on your forearms. Do you want to do them on your forearms or right? I'll do it on forearms. Yes. Yeah, so, you yeah. so, you can do these on your forearms or on your hands. Karen is going to do them on her hands. I'm going to do them on my forearms. Okay, tummy muscles pulled in, pelvic floor pulled up. 
Get your shoulders and your head set first and then lengthen through the legs to bring yourself out into the plank. Your tummy muscles are drawing in, pelvic floor is drawing up. Your neck is nice and long. Okay, so don't look up at the head. Try not to let it drop. We go for four, three, two, one. Bring the knees down, bring yourself back into a little shell stretch. So just make sure when you're doing these ones that you're not feeling anything in your back. If you are, something's going wrong. So you need to check your position, check your posture while you're doing it. Okay, so bring yourself back out again. We're gonna do an add on here. So lengthen out into plank for eight, seven, six, five, breathing, four. Draw those belly buttons in, pelvic floor pulled up. What we're gonna do now, if you're on your forearms, you're gonna to have to lift your butt slightly higher and pull your knee towards your chest. Lengthen that leg down, knee towards the chest for eight, seven. Really squeeze those abs. Five, four. Notice the pace we're going at. It's not a fast exercise in planning. You can go as fast as you want, of course. I can't for you. Ugh. Bring the knees down. Oh, bring yourself back into a shell stretch. I find that super hard to do on my elbows. I find it hard to do my elbows as I have. So Okay, so. Tummy drawn in, pelvic floor drawn up. We're going for round three. We're doing an add-on. So for the third add-on, we're gonna to have to come up onto your hands. But if you don't, if your wrists are starting to up for it, or your shoulders, whatever, stay on your elbows. Okay, so tummy nice and tight, draw the belly button in. We're coming back up into plank and holding for eight, seven, six, five. There was a fellow recently who did this for eight hours. Is it eight hours? Yes. Yeah, US like Marine or something. Yeah. Eight hours. Okay, so tuck the knee then up to the chest. So if you're on your forearms, you'll have to lift your bum up a little bit higher so your knee doesn't bang off the floor. Lengthen. Seven. Six. Five. Really squeeze those abs. Four. Your shoulders are going to be feeling these. Three. Two. One. Bring the knees down and bring yourself up onto your hands. Keep your knees down. And we're going to go for a press. So Pilates press to keep your elbows in nice and close to your body. Don't let them flare outwards. So inhale down, inhale down, inhale down. Exhale and lift. And only go as far as you're comfortable to go. So if this is your comfort level, if this is your comfort level, that's fine. Work with, work with what you've got at the moment. Don't, uh, don't cheat and, pound, and swing through these, okay? So inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale and press for eight. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale and press for seven. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale and press for six. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale and press for five. Yeah. <laughs> Four. Good. Inhale down. Exhale, press and lengthen for three. Two. And one, give yourself a little shell stretch. So bring your, oh, it's the first woo, we've got it account. <laughs> bring your arms back. Give yourself a little shell stretch. Okay. One more round of those and then we're gonna move on again. Okay, so tummy nice and tight. You're coming up into a nice long plank position. I'm gonna do it on my hands this time. Because <laughs> it's harder the other way. Okay, so eight, we're holding here. Eight, seven. Six, draw those belly buttons in, pelvic floor muscles together and up. Three, two, and then we're going mountain climber. Take breaks if you need them for eight, seven. Really squeeze your abdominals. Four, three, two, one. Bring the knees down. Give your wrists a little break here if they need them. Little distraction, little pull. The risk of it, because we're not used to, we don't put that much weight down through our hands usually, but they're generally fine. It doesn't bother them too much. They just don't, they're not usually not strong enough at the start. Okay, so inhale down, elbows staying nice and close. Exhale, press the lift for eight. Inhale down, exhale, press the lift for seven. 
Six. Five. Four. Three. Stretch. Okay, take a little breather. Now, this is where again we're going to use. I'm going to use. No, who's going to say it's going to use this? You're going to use this. Yeah. So, Karen's going to use the ball. I'm not going to have a ball. So, it doesn't matter if you have a ball, kids' ball, slightly deflated, it's perfect. Uh, I'm going to give you that. Now, so we're coming around onto our back. To secure the sunglasses. I'll just take them off. Okay. So, tummy muscles are pulled in, pelvic floor pulled up. We've done these the last few days. Karen's going to put the ball between her knees and give it a very small, gentle squeeze. We want the inner thighs to fire up, but we don't want them to go bananas doing this. Okay, so gentle squeeze. We're going to inhale here, lift your pelvis in neutral, up, and then lower it down again. So your back is staying nice and straight. One of the things to watch out for when you're doing these is your rib cage flaring upwards, and I'll try and show you what I mean by that. So, Sometimes we kind of get to here and we feel, oh, I, I can go further. And then we shove, rib cage completely flares and you get this arch into your back. It's too much. You're just stressing your back out. You don't want to do that. You want to work the bum, not stress the back. So press and lift. Let's go for five, four, three, Two, if you've been doing these exercises with me, you know, I love these exercises, I do them nearly all the time, nearly every class I do, I work your butt. Because you've been sitting on it all week and work, so it needs to do something. Okay, we're holding it here at the top, breathe for four, three, two, one, bring the pelvis all the way down. Now, I'm going to get Karen to take the ball out from between the knees and put it under her right knee, and the right leg is going to come into tabletop, I should have done the leg first. <laughs> no, you're right. So draw the belly up, then zip with the pelvic floor. We're going to inhale here. We're lifting now the spine in its neutral position with one leg up and down. All the way up, all the way down. Notice how far you're able to get and don't shove. Good. Three, two, one. You're going to hold it up here. Hold it up and you're going to toe tap that right foot down towards the floor. Four. Three. Two. One. And bring the pelvis all the way down. Take the ball out from behind your knee if you've got it there and swap over. Woo. If your hamstrings are going nuts doing that, give your bum a little box. Tell your bum, tell your butt you want it to do the work. So, tummy muscles pulled in, pelvic floor pulled up. Inhale here, exhale, press and lift. And down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Remember not to drive into your backs. Two, and hold it up. Give that bum a box if your hamstring isn't doing, if your hamstring is going nuts. Hit your bum, and we're lowering, lifting that other leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, oh, two, and one. And bring the pelvis all the way down. Take the ball out from between the legs and take a deep breath. I like to bring the soles of my feet together and let the kind of See if I can turn sideways, see, see that better. Let the hips open a little bit. Just rock from side to side. Karen's got her knees tucked up to her chest. Either is fine. Okay, so we're going to do a little stretches today. So we're going to take your right leg, send it on, and pull it towards your body. Try not to let, don't let the knee bend, so don't be in that position. Send the leg long, pull the leg straight back. And if you're getting a little twitch through the muscle, back off slightly, the muscle's trying to tell you to stop. And then we're going to take that knee and bring it across the body. We're going to add a little rotation into the spine if it feels good. Don't, if it doesn't feel good, don't. So you're kind of 
In this rotated position, your right arm is coming out behind you. Your left knee is coming across the body. Little stretch into the glute, little rotation into that lower back, so a little stretch through there as well. That's nice. It is nice. Thank you. And then draw yourself back to your centre slowly. Pop that right foot down or whatever leg you were stretching, bring the other leg straight up into the air. Little hamstring stretch here. And you can do these for as long as you want, as long as you're not going out for a run now or anything. You know, you stretch the muscle for as long as it feels good. <sighs> Breathing. So we're trying to calm your central nervous system back down again, because it gets kind of, you know, I won't say irritated, but it gets heightened, it gets heightened when you're exercising. So the deep breathing when you're stretching will help calm it all down again. Very good to deep breathe at the moment. So now I've got my right my legs, my left leg's coming across my body, my left arm is out, get a little stretch in there. And nice and slowly bring yourself back to centre. Bring yourself up. I'm going to stand up, turn over, you get your stretch line flat on the floor. So you can do both, either of these is fine. So we're going to just stretch the quads. So I'm going to stand, I'm going to take one hand, one uh, hand is going to hold onto the foot. Keep your knees together. This, this one is quite a traditional stretch. But keep your knees together and then have that supporting leg slightly soft. And then squeeze your butt and push your hips forward and just feel how that stretch is intensified lying on the floor or standing. It's a great stretch. You don't have to do any major contortionist efforts trying to get these guys to stretch. All you have to do is work the butt, so squeeze your butt cheeks, push your hips slightly forward, and you should feel that stretch completely intensified down the front of the leg. Great one for any knee pain as well. Uh, if your knee can bend this far, if you've just kind of got some generalized knee discomfort from, I don't know, anything really. Okay, so, Stomping sides, do this with no, hold on to my ear. So supporting the legs slightly soft, give your butt cheek a little squeeze, push your hips forward, keep that heel. So we're, the heel is as close to your butt as you can get. And even if you've got your heel pushed right up against your bum, squeeze your butt and push your hips. So instead of being in that position, squeeze, push your hips forward and just feel that stretch intensify. Can you feel that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And rest tonight. 